Hey, what's going on everybody? Boylon here and welcome to patch 6.2. Now that's what I'd like to say if the start of this patch wasn't a load of horse crap. And that's just, that's, <laughs> I can go, I, I can say more, but we'll get to that. So, okay, uh, you know, the, the, before the servers came up, you know, there was extended maintenance until about, I think it was like 3.30 uh, PM Pacific time and then a store reset at 5 p.m. There were some even more problems that resulted in the game and the servers coming down for a couple of more hours after that And then I went for dinner and then I guess by the time I came back things were okay uh, Then it turned out that the we didn't get the free gambit raid keys for You know the start like we would for like the start of a Greek raid And so they had to spend another few hours to figure that out to send that out to us and I forget what time it was maybe about eight ish PM Pacific time. I don't remember uh, when they actually sent out the mail for that and it finally came in I believe it was under this one raid issues resolved and we can actually see uh, What they had there and so there's some energy some packs uh, 500 disco balls, which is interesting So I've now added that into the Roland rebel uh, the subtotal that I kind of have the ongoing subtotal They gave us our gambit raid keys and they gave us 500 gambit playing cards uh, for the time that we may have missed uh, on the raids Right, and that's a whole separate issue. You know, I've raised this. Um, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure the envoys of raids, uh, mobile gamers, raised this on my behalf. Uh, that basically there's going to be a problem on day seven of the gambit raid because they're kind of expecting you to 100% this raid because that seventh. 24 hour raid if you're not 100%ing is going to actually land in week two. I've talked about this before and so this is a bit of a problem that they haven't really addressed. They haven't actually said what their intentions were behind this as far as the milestone goes and that's a little bit of a problem. However, it doesn't end there because there's all sorts of other problems in the game right now. Um, let's start at the top. Actually, let's go to my Discord. I have a in my game announcements an ongoing list here of some of the problems. Okay, I posted this actually at almost at 7 p.m. Pacific time last night. And so this game is severely busted today, but on the list of issues that I believe are so far, one, we talked about the Gambit Raid keys that wasn't there, uh, that we didn't get, but we did get it later uh, as well. Uh, and then there's a problem right now with Gambit Raid keys not showing up in the objective window, objectives window, sorry, on day two after the daily reset. So that's now as of me recording this video. So we can check in the daily objectives here. And we can see that if you scroll to the bottom, where I have like 230, my head's in the way a bit, 230 energy towards, you know, ultimate keys. There's nothing here that says um, energy towards Gambit Raid keys. And I've been told that it may not be ticking down or not. And I'm not 100% sure on this one. Because the keys that we have right now are the 600 that we got for free, plus the first days of energy that a lot of us spent. I'm not sure if this value has gone up since from pure energy spending i've tried to calculate and i didn't see it move on my end so uh, let me know if this is an ongoing problem if this is actually a problem uh but regardless it's still not tracking properly and that means we don't know where we're at necessarily except for what it is based on you know our ultimate keys uh but it would be good to know to make sure that because it says check back later for gambit raid keys and it says 22 hours so this almost suggests you know, because it doesn't say that about the ultimate keys, it suggests that it's still not working properly. And that's, I, you know, I, I would love to know, because if this isn't a problem right now and we're not getting raid keys for this, then we're getting fucked out of the energy that we're spending. It's that simple. Uh, let's move on, though. There was a random, number two, a random gambit shards were being awarded to players from 0 to 50, from what I heard. I got 12. And the reason why, I, I, I can kind of show you the 12 that I got because I got, okay, so here, I haven't recruited him yet. I'm 32 out of 15. So I got five from the Ace of Raids milestone for free. And then I got 15 from the first day of the login calendar that everyone gets a free unlock. I haven't unlocked them yet. And so that leaves me with 12 extra shards that I haven't got through any other means. Right? So I heard, and I believe I was watching Mr. Hargrave's stream. And I think he was at like 12 out of... 12, tw he unlocked him and had like 12 additional shards, which may have been like 27 or something. Like, I don't know how many he got. Um, I don't know, have he got extra Gambit shards from other means? Uh, you know, uh, maybe I'll talk to him. But anyone who was on that stream, maybe can let me know as well. But other people have been telling me that they've been getting extra shards. And then some of my Alliance members and other people in my Discord have been telling me they got zero. So some people are getting zero. And some people are getting like 20 plus shards for free. And that's just absolutely insane. 
they've had no comment on this. They've not really talked about this at all, about what they're doing. And that's absolutely ludicrous. So I think that's, that that's another thing that Scopely needs to respond to. They need to tell us how these shards came out. How did I get 12 shards? How did I get 12 shards? You know, where did that come from? I don't know. And I benefited from it a little bit. And other people benefited from it even more. And then some people didn't benefit from it at all. And that's a huge problem for a character like Gambit, who is so scarce in his shards. And we're going to talk about that when we get to his stupid Cajun orb. And how little shards that are actually going to be available throughout the Gambit raid. But let's go on some more. So number three, one to two free mega orbs from what I've been told randomly in your orbs. I got one. How do I know I got one? Well, I had zero. And suddenly I opened up my orbs and I found there was one mega orb in my orbs. I did absolutely nothing. I didn't buy anything. And here we go. I have one. I didn't clear anything that got me that one. So, you know, the last Dark Dimension 5 level I cleared gave me an Elite 5. <laughs> Not a Mega Orb, so I don't know where this came from. Again, more random rewards for people. Um, I don't know if there's more than two. I heard it was one to two. If anyone got more than two, let me know. And then some people may have, not, may have not got any, right? And so who is getting it and who's not? Is this A, B testing all over again? What is going on in this game? Like, so we have Mega Orbs, we have Gambit Shards. What's next? You know, they're, they're, and there's still a little bit more. And apparently there was free login calendars. Now, I don't have the photo on hand. I should have the photo on hand. I could probably find it in my Discord somewhere. But actually, I, I can find that really quick, probably, because I think it was in my general chat. If we scroll up a little bit. There was one. It'll be, it's there. It's there. There was a good photo of it. Okay, there's a lot. This, this one here. So this was posted. Sorry, let me bring this up in, in full screen here. So not only was there this gold promo calendar, and this was pulled. All this was pulled. There was a shield logger calendar for some shield minions or something. Uh, this promotion calendar with gold promotion and silver promotion calendars. And then the Widowmaker Dark Dimension 2 calendar was running again. And I heard the pride, someone had the pride calendar running at a second time. So what's up with that? But most people only got day one of the calendar and, it, and then it was pulled. But even still, that's 20 gold promos that some people got and others didn't. Depending on your daily reset and things like that, that, you know, some people are benefiting from even this 20 gold promos. You know what? Give everyone 20 gold promos because, you know, at the end of the day, it's gold promos that I didn't get. And why not? Right? If some people got it and some didn't, that doesn't make sense to me. So that kind of pisses me off a little bit as well. Uh, let's go back to the announcements. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, the golden training mod calendar for some. Apparently there was some special golden training mod calendar. I had a photo of that as well and I don't know why I don't have this. Maybe some of you saw it circling about. Uh, some people were getting this and not others. And my guess is since it was a, a calendar that they got day one of this and not anything else. Uh, and so, th yeah, what, what that just makes no sense. What is going on in this game? This has, I, I, I dare not say the most broken patch because we've had a lot of broken patches on day one and day two, but there is a lot of things that make me wonder what the hell is going on in this game. And as far as what they should have had done, you know, the, the raid keys is a bit of an issue. The, there's a lot of unanswered questions. The, the random gamma shards is the biggest unanswered question that I have at this point because there's people in my alliance that got zero and so i want to pivot really quickly to the gambit orb since we're here about just doing a very quick over overview of the patch what we what, what's here and what's not here we have the cajun orb for those of you who are most likely at this point running the gambit raid and if I, i've actually released a video on the gambit raid running the clubs uh, and spades and hearts section a little bit on my raid so go check that out if you need to it's kind of interesting and i'm i'm having a okay time but I'm only running difficulty six, so it is what it is. But if you take a look at the Cajun Orb, and I'm probably going to be getting about two of these per day running at 60%. I don't think we're going to 100% it because, you know, there's some people who just can't, you know, do certain lanes and that's just how it is. There's only three Gambit Shards per orb guaranteed. Okay. And so if you're getting two of these orbs every day, at least in difficulty six and above, then that means that you're probably going to be getting six shards a day, right? And over, let's say, 13 or 14 days... That's six times 10 is 60. And so, you know, like 84 shards, you know, hypothetically there, 14 days, 84 shards. And then plus some of the random crap that we've already got, the 15 for free, 10 that's in the milestones, and, and maybe there's some some other ones somewhere. And, you know, you're, you're, you're looking at a three-star gambit. And for those people who aren't running uh, do uh, the, the gambit raid at difficulty six or above, 
you're looking at like a, a two-star gambit. So for some people, you're looking at a two-star gambit, and for others, you're looking at a three-star gambit. It's not great. You know, and, and this kind of just shares, this just shows me that this is why it's not a huge priority for me at this point, because I don't want to level up a team where I only have a three star gambit because stats matter. And that's just not enough for me. Now, in terms of the left pillars and stuff, you do get these like a full orb and you have a small chance here for a mega orb for what it's worth, but the rest is jank. And you have, so you have a 78% of that happening. And then from that, you have a, like a 13% chance of it being a, a mega orb. So it's not that high. It's like a 10% chance of a mega orb. Uh, otherwise you're getting, you know, some stuff you're getting 500 elite fours or a thousand elite fours or 2,500 elite fours. You know, let's say they love their jackpot mechanics. And then the right pillar is training modules. So it says guarantees one of, I don't know what that really means. If you're actually getting one, that's pretty garbage. Uh, but hopefully it's a little bit more than that. I haven't opened any of these yet. So just wanted to just throw that out there and also uh, some extra stuff here because this is sort of a bit of a patch review patch in review overview uh, we also have the captain america sam costume this new one here it is available for forty thousand costume credits you can buy this here the wings are cooler but otherwise it looks pretty much the same as face his headpiece is his head is is a little bit different but the wings are a little bit cooler i don't know if it has any animation differences i haven't bought it yet if anyone has bought it and has tested it out and knows if there's any animation differences please let me know in the comments down below that'd be great also the phoenix costume that was available in the RTA pass is now actually available for 50,000 costume credits. And what this means is this is the first costume that has been available from the RTA pass that is now permanently available in the costume store for what it's worth. So for those of you who may be hoping for Burger King or Winter King, uh, Baron Zemo, and any of those other fancy I, that, that was kind of the one that I wanted was the the Winter King, win, uh, bear, whatever it was called, Regent Zemo, Winter Regent Zemo. That was kind of the one I wanted, and maybe we will get it in the permanent costume store one day. And so I, for that reason, I'm not buying the Runaways costume for Nico, and I'm just going to let that lapse into costume credits, and maybe I'll buy this Cap Sam one, I don't know, and or maybe I'll just wait for, for Burger King Zemo. Uh, but otherwise, <laughs> otherwise I, you know, that's about it. We, there's a lot of things we don't have in the game we don't have the raid sims aren't in the game the the, the seven day login things i believe got pushed back and so this patch has kind of been it's been not so good there's a lot of questions that need answering especially with regards to some of the issues raised in this in my discord post here and i would love to understand what it is that they meant with anything was this was, was this all bugs I don't know. Not surprising because it's Scopely and it, it Boundless and Marvel Strike Force, and we can't have a you know a, a single instance of you know a good patch release with nothing wrong. There's always something wrong. I would really love to know what's going on with the Gambit keys as well. So let me know if you've had any issues. Let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if there's been any particular problems that you've had yeah, since the patch that I didn't bring up or that hasn't been resolved. And let me know that in the comments down below because I'm sure there may be more. Um, oh yeah, and in Doom Raid Mutant 2, I heard that Silver Surfer is currently bugged in Node 1. Doom Raid 2, Mutant, Node 1. I heard that Silver Surfer is bugged and his passive is at level 1. I don't know, I haven't run it yet, but, you know, if you are, let me know if that's still a thing in the comments down below as well, which means he won't heal. Anything else, feel free to let me know. Send me a message on Discord, leave a comment, whatever you need to do to get a hold of me. And that's this for this weird wonky ass patch overview and things that they need to get their shit together and get right. Everyone, they need to they need to have another statement, I think. They need to have a follow-up statement about all of these ongoing issues and what they're going to do to resolve it. So that's it. Uh, hope you enjoy your patch 6.2 day two. Hopefully it gets better. And until next time, stay safe and healthy. I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.